YouTube. We're back. Got another video for you guys today. As you can see, I'm out here on the lake again, Lake Wilhelm, at the same spot I was uh, for my previous video. I believe I said in my last video that I was coming out here just about every day and had been for a couple weeks. Still the case. Still out here just about every day getting my steps in, getting my, getting my miles logged. Um, so today, coming out, I figured I'd do a quick recap on how the last week has gone. Uh, there's been some pretty neat things that have taken place. Some things that I can share and talk about on here. So, so we're going to do that today and we're going to smoke a pipe. Today, I'm going to be smoking some Lane Limited HGL. I got this blend, I don't know, a month or two ago. Uh, as you can see, I haven't really smoked very much of it, just a couple bowls. Um, it's, it's a good blend. I think with me kind of cutting back on how much I've been smoking lately, uh, it hasn't gotten the love that it deserves. So I figured I'd bring it out here today to, to give it some of that love. I'm um, also, I believe I'm going to be debuting a new pipe to the channel. I picked this pipe up in Columbus this past year. It's my very first Meerschaum. As you can see, I've smoked it a little bit. You can see the coloration. You can see the uh, rim there is getting pretty dark. There she is. Let me flip her back around and get the thumbnail quick. There she is. Uh, so we're going to be smoking some uh, HGL out of the mirror today. And uh, doing a quick recap on the past week and maybe some other thoughts. So we'll be right back. Enjoy. Dear Jazz, I'm leaving with my karate instructor, actually, so don't come running after me. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Why? Why? I suppose we're all looking for something, aren't we, Giles? The yoga's helped a bit, of course, that and the point to point. But what does it all really mean? Live in peace with your pipe. With Mellow Virginia. Flake already rubbed. So, as you guys can probably tell based off the pictures, I took a trip back up to Niagara Falls. This time, I took my sister for her very first time at the falls, so uh, she got to experience her first legal drink, and she got to experience gambling for the first time. Uh, so she got her first legal gamble in, so that was pretty neat. being my uh, third trip to the falls now second time driving it uh, it still kind of blows my mind how easy it is to get there for me living about 45 minutes north of pittsburgh uh, we just hop on 79 from 79 we get on uh, 90 out of erie and then 90 takes you almost the whole way to the peace bridge and from the Pr peace bridge you get on the qew the one Canadian highway system or whatever, and that pretty much takes you straight to the falls. I think total it's somewhere around 160, 170 miles from us, but it's a simple drive, real easy drive. It was, it was a lot of fun. We went with, I took my sister, as you can see, and uh, my uncle Mike and my cousin Jake. Um, Jake's been there a couple times Mike's been there quite a few times, uh, three times with me now, and one time with my sister. So uh, we had a good time in the falls. They're always so beautiful. I know there are some people that uh, think that once you see them, you know, every other time you see them after that, it's just kind of like, eh, you know, the falls. But I have yet to see any waterfall that is more beautiful than... Uh, the Canadian side or the American side. <clears throat> the horseshoe being the coolest, obviously. 
as soon as we got there we hopped on the made of the mist so my sister could experience that it's the second time i've done it first time she's done it and it's that's a pretty neat pretty neat experience you get pretty wet so that's with it being cool you know being november it was it was uh interesting it wasn't too bad it was warm enough that we weren't freezing but it was still pretty chilly out uh, we got took her to the casino uh, there's a, a slot machine there that i like playing it's called hot roulette they have a couple different um different variants of it different games set up but it's all the same concept the first time i went to the falls i found this machine and i played it for a while and i think i came out like two or three dollars a head or something but i was only i think it was only 20 cent bets at the time i didn't want to do anything higher than that because i had never gambled before and didn't really feel like losing a ton of money so uh, then the second time i went i played it i didn't win anything i was out 20 bucks within like 10 minutes 20 bucks canadian which is like i don't know 15 bucks american or something but uh, this time we walked in i found the machine almost right away on my second spin, I got the hot roulette bonus round. And within 20 spins of the roulette ball, I was up 40 bucks. And it was only like 40 cent uh, spins or something like that. So being up 40 bucks right off the rip was pretty exciting. And then after that, I didn't really play much. My sister, she played it a little bit. I, I don't know if she hit any other machines or not. I don't really remember. Uh, but I know she was pretty excited to get her first legal drink, so we got that at the casino. Uh, she got a Malibu Malibu rum and cranberry, uh, which I've never seen anybody get before, but she liked it. She thought it was pretty good. And I got the, the classic traditional Crown and Coke, my go-to. It's been my go-to for too long, way too long. But uh, it's the first drink I've had in about five months, first drink I had in five months, so... Uh, I don't think having one drink will do anything, jeopardize anything for me for what I'm shooting for, but I did have a drink with her. I felt I had to, so uh, we enjoyed the night. Then we went back to the hotel, crashed, got up the next day, walked the falls, took a trip up to Niagara on the lake, which is, I think, only like 10 miles from the falls, um, which is, it's just a beautiful area. She got to see Lake Ontario for the first time. Um which it's just a lake uh, from Niagara on the lake though it, the spot we were at you could look across and see Toronto you could see the skyline of Toronto which was pretty pretty cool I don't remember seeing that the first time we were there uh, so seeing seeing Toronto on a clear day like that was pretty sweet and then being the second time I went to Canada I went to Toronto those that follow on Instagram may remember the post of me going to the Blue Jays game with the same uncle uh, me and him have done a lot of a lot of cool things together man me and him have we've all but toured the world pretty much but uh so we had a good time at the falls we had a good time in canada uh, we were only up for a day well two days technically a night is what we uh stayed over for and then came back so uh, we had a great time at the falls and uh now that i've recapped that i'm gonna go ahead and light this pipe again and share some more with you this isn't going to be a very long video i don't have a whole ton to talk about but i will say about being in canada and being at these uh real touristy locations like niagara falls one of my I think my favorite part about going to these different areas is seeing all the different cultures, the different ethnicities that are there. Um, hearing the different languages, seeing the way different people dress and, you know, the mannerisms and all this. It's just, it's such a cool experience being around so many different people than what I'm used to. I think that's truly my favorite part, getting to experience all that and you know, just, just share that experience with all those people. It's so cool. And hearing all the different languages and how they all sound 
so unique to me. You know, English, I think, is, to those that don't speak it, obviously, it's a very challenging language. But to us, it's just, it's so calm and so casual. You know, so here, thinking of how other people hear us talk, you know, we make jokes the whole time. We're all pretty close. Um, my sister, my cousin, my uncle, and all that. So us cracking jokes and smiling and laughing the whole time just makes me wonder what the other people were thinking while we were walking by them. Just pretty neat, but... But it was a really cool experience. Getting to take my sister for the very first time out of the country. I got her, uh, took her to get her passport... I don't know, back in March, April maybe. She got it pretty quick, and we've been planning on getting her up there sometime uh, in the fall. We've been planning that since she got her passport, so it was pretty cool to, you know, see it all come to fruition here. So... Now that I recap that, I saw a post, I don't know where it was, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, something, TikTok, maybe, who knows. But I saw a post around the beginning of September. Uh, I was seeing it all over the place, but it said that the Burr months, September, October, November, December, um, a lot of people kind of noticed that those months, those four months, seem to always hold big plot twists in everybody's life story. You know, for the most most of the year, things are kind of going as you expect, and then September, November, or October, November, December roll around, and things start to shake up, or, you know, something, something crazy happens. And it kind of shakes everything up, or kind of throws everybody for a loop. And at the beginning of September, you know, I saw that, and I was like, real curious to see what happens this year if anything uh, if there's any sort of plot twist in my life or you know how it all affects the people around me to just kind of pay attention and see what all happens and there have been some plot twists holy cow not so much um, in my own personal life and I don't you know mean to sound like I'm bragging about that everything in my life is kind of gone as I expected it to, uh, for the most part. Now, I say that, and we still have half of November and all of December left to go, so God only knows what could happen. But uh, for a lot of the other friends and family that uh, I have, that I talk to and I'm close with, I've seen a lot of things uh, start to get shaken up here. And uh, some of it, most of it, really, uh, is really really troubling for my soul you know seeing it from an outsider's perspective or you know having it kind of directly impact uh, my life whether it's just you know people coming over and talking or you know people just sharing what's going on with me and kind of you know asking or getting my input on it you know it's been it's been a shaky couple months here Excuse me a second while I relight this. So with all this going on, and there's there's a ton, and I would never share it because a lot of it's very personal to other people that aren't myself. So uh, I won't go into any sort of detail here, but. Uh, there's a lot that, you know, just, I don't know, it's just real troubling. And it's those type of situations where there's not really a whole lot where I can do anything. If you know what I'm saying. There's not really a whole lot that I can offer. A whole lot that I can do. Um, and, and I've kind of been, 
I don't know if I want to say struggling with that. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it, maybe. To the fact that what's happening in these other people's lives, uh, all I can really do is be there kind of as a supportive figure. Uh, really just share the love that God has blessed me with uh, to be able to share. Just kind of share that with them and be present with them and, you know, be as open open and available as I can be for all of them, for everybody. So, uh, with with all this stuff going on, I, I intend to be, to do my best at being open and available to everybody. Uh, there are some that I think uh, if time permits, that would be it would be beneficial um, for me to spend a little bit more time with these people. Maybe I haven't spent as much time with these people as I should have over the last couple of years, you know. And maybe maybe spending time with them can kind of help them out, even if it's just in the slightest, minorest way. Um, it'd be it'd be really nice to see a positive impact made. Because there's been a lot of a lot of interesting things that have happened over the last couple of weeks. Man, this thing keeps going out on me. Some of it's pretty major. Some of it's, you know, pretty minor. But still, I thought it was real interesting coming across that the Burr months uh, hold the biggest plot twists. And then since the beginning of September, it's just been non-stop plot twist pretty much. So that's kind of what I figure I can do. Just be more open and available um, and share some of my, there's a bug on my shirt, be more, you know, positive, uh, presently positive with them. Just kind of share my, the little bit of knowledge and wisdoms that I may have. Maybe it'll help get some people back on the right path or help, you know, direct people to a different path than what they're on now or just kind of open the eyes to some things. I can't imagine that it would have a negative impact, but if it were to, you know, that would, that would kind of suck. But I don't know. Like I said, this wasn't going to be a real long video. Uh, this is more of a almost like a journal episode, something I would usually just write down in the journal, but since it's been a little while since I made a YouTube video, about a week. I'd like to do one weekly, but sometimes I just, I got nothing to talk about. So since, since I kind of had some stuff on my mind today, I'd figure I'd come out here and record, see what I could come up with. So that's about all I got. So I'm going to end it the same way I ended the last one. I'm going to let, let you guys watch me smoke a pipe with the lake in the background. <laughs> To those that watch my videos, I thank you. For those of you that like my videos and comment on them, I thank you even more. For those that have subscribed, God bless you. Thank you. I hope you guys hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, with the winter, you know, deep winter months coming up, I don't know how many more of these I'll be making. It might have to might have to be put on pause until spring, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to light this pipe and probably let it run for a minute or two here. You can watch me smoke with the water going in the background. Take care, everybody. Uh, we'll see you around.